Do you want to get into data science or data analysis? The main question you might ask yourself is where should I start? What to do first? Should you do some statistics or mathematics first or go straight into Python or databases? This video will show you how to plan your self-study journey. The main challenges are you need to have a plan to self-study effectively. You need to stay motivated and you have to figure out how to get help if you struggle. This video focuses on the first problem. It is easy to get lost if you don't have a plan for self-study. And we will address that. We will cover the following. Um, first, I will share my experience. Then we look at job market data, which I collected, um, to understand the key skills needed. We explore the differences between a, a data scientist and a data analyst. And finally, we make a plan. And most importantly, we have to stick to it. Now, my experience. I have been working in higher education for about 20 years. Um, I worked in business consulting um, at McKinsey, focused on firm valuation. So for many years, I have been working on consulting projects and all my work is somehow related to data. So it's about collecting data, about managing data, analyzing data and making recommendations based on my analysis. My main tools um, in order of importance are Python, Starter, um, SQL or SQL, if you prefer that, a database language, um, and Excel. I use lots of other tools, but far less frequently. Now, looking at the job market, and I think that's always a good starting point. So what does the market demand? So when you go through the job adverts, and in fact, Python can help me there to collect the data from hundreds of job adverts, what are the key skills that always seem to pop up? Number one, in terms of importance, um, strong Excel skills. Now, this is really the case throughout almost all the job adverts I saw. Then the focus is very much on cleaning, managing data data visualization, then followed by databases. Very frequently they mention SQL. Then less frequently data analysis, Python machine learning. So these are the seven core skills that tend to be mentioned very frequently. And this is what I would really focus on first. To be honest, your learning never will stop. So also in my case, even after 20 years, you keep learning new skills. But the key is to focus on core skills and make you ready for the job market. You know, get a job, work on projects and progress further. That's the main focus. You can spend years, um, you know, learning more and more. That doesn't get you necessarily very far. Yeah, so it's about focusing on the key skills that get you your first um, experience and then you grow from there. That's the focus. Now, what is the difference between data scientist and data analyst? Um, to be honest, um, the boundaries are very blurred. Yeah, so don't focus too much on job titles. There can be sometimes a bit misleading. And also you can move in, bet in between these positions. And it's actually quite common to move over time, maybe starting as a data analyst and then moving more into data science after acquiring um, some further skills. Now looking again at, at the job market data. So the main things that really um, come up a lot is um, for a data scientist to focus more on Python. So Python is almost mentioned in, in all the job adverts with very few exceptions. They might be okay with R, which is an alternative programming language, but Python is quite central. The other thing which also comes up um, quite frequently um, is developing machine learning tools. So that's another area where a data scientist really is distinct from a data analyst. 
Apart from machine learning tools, AI tools are mentioned then a bit less frequently. Now many adverts stress the need for an academic background which is more quantitative. So for instance, maybe mathematics or computer science. Yet um, at the end of the day, your skills matter. And most importantly, how you can demonstrate your skills, maybe based on prior work experience or projects you worked on. Um, in summary, for data science, Python is very hard to ignore and more training in statistics and mathematics is needed. Now, how to make a plan? So I would suggest to start with the most frequently demanded skills um, working from the top. So I think it's a really good idea to start with some basic skills in Excel. It is um, quite often um, um, underrated, but actually in most jobs um, it is quite important and it might get you um, it might get you ready for these positions. I have a few videos um, on Excel and how it can be used um, in data analysis and I will also do some more videos in future. Um, leave a comment below if you are looking for a particular skill you would like to acquire related to Excel. Second, um, after covering Excel, I would um, do some basic course um, on uh, data visualization and analysis. I already have um, started um, a data science for beginners course, which covers um, applied statistics and mathematics. The focus is very much on application, not theory. And you can also learn um, Starter, which is a statistical software package and programming language. I have another video um, that talks about whether you should learn Starter for data science. Um, this course will give you a solid foundation. Honestly, that will be enough to get you started for a career in data analysis. After that, you should add some SQL and definitely Python if you want to go into data science. you find several videos on my channel and more will come um, in future. Again, leave some comments below if you're looking for um, some more specific topics. Most importantly for self-study, you have to have realistic expectations. There are so many videos on YouTube promising you to learn Python in 10 minutes, 2 hours, 4 hours. Honestly, this is setting you up for failure. Um, it's completely unrealistic. Um, it's a, a lifelong journey, to be honest. You will never be finished. You can realistically cover Python, the basics, in 6 to 8 weeks of self-study. Realistically. And then you should move on and do your own projects. That's important. You have to really practice, otherwise you won't be able to pick up these skills. In particular, um, if you do self-study, you might work at the same time. You might have a family to t take care of. So you have to have really realistic um, expectations um, and you have to have a plan that um, can be achieved given these constraints. Now, please leave comments below. You can contact me um, on, on Twitter um, if you have any questions or suggestions. Um, this is end of the day your channel. Um, you are in, in, in charge. Um, you give me directions. And finally, may the power be with you. Um, enjoy the joy of data analysis.